Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel Digital Doorway. In this video, I'm going to discuss the service hub of HubSpot. The service hub is one of the four hubs of HubSpot, the other three being the marketing hub, the sales hub, and the CMS hub. So getting started with HubSpot, service hub is a breeze. The service hub offers some great free tools, but you can use more advanced tools with its paid plans. You can choose between the service hubs uh, so, uh, starter, professional or enterprise plans. So let's take a look at where you can find the service hub and what free tools it offers. So this is a free version of HubSpot that I'm using and here you will find service. You'll find tickets and because it's a free portal, the other features are locked and it's asking you to unlock more features with service hub professional plan. The other features includes knowledge hub and creating service. So if I were to open my notepad and type in what service hub offers so you can create support tickets using service hub you can create uh, feedback and survey tools uh, the three survey tools that are available are csat nps and ces i'm going to make more videos on how you can create survey tools and how you can use it to send surveys to emails or even publish them on your website or blog page you can also build a knowledge base let's write knowledge base here and you can manage all customer conversations in a single customer view let's see right now okay now these are this is what you can do using service hub now let's take a look at the tools in the free plan of course in the pre plan you will get more tools but i'm just referring to the free ones over here you get ticketing software uh, you get live chat and this you get team email so you can use this team email to send emails between your team members you can call your prospects you can set up meetings you get to have a conversations inbox cane uh, snippets is another another tool or feature that is offered cane snippets and let's see what else you get email templates you get tickets reports which are very important you get reporting dashboard let's have that uh, messenger integration which is a new feature it was i think launched last year you can integrate your Facebook Messenger and you have access to custom properties. So these are all the features or tools that you get in the service hub and you can use these features. Uh, let's go back and let's take a look at uh, how you can use or leverage the inbox and the tickets tool in this video. Before I proceed, I would request you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share the video. Another announcement that I would like to make is my video or my course is now on Udemy.com. It is now live and it's being sold at $19.9. You can, uh, this is basically I've made it for CRM and I've covered the ticketing uh, service hub, the marketing hub and the sales hub. And you will, uh, I would appreciate if you can go through this course or you can sign up to get better knowledge on HubSpot. I've, I've kept two videos on preview mode. So you can watch these videos and there's also a video on automation and workflow. There's also a case study that I've taken up. I've taken a website and shown how you can create chats and bots and how you can set up and use the conversational tools. Now back to the dashboard. Now I was referring to uh, the ticketing uh, feature over here and the inbox. Now let's take a look at these two for a start. I'm going to click on tickets and the tickets page will open up now this is a table view of tickets you can also click here and go to the board view now you can see that i already have a ticket here and these are the custom properties that i have new waiting on contact waiting on us or closed you can drag and drop very easily uh, and uh, whatever the status is for example if this particular ticket is closed you can simply drag and drop it over here and this ticket will show as closed that will allow you to tell other team members and notify them that uh, you know this particular ticket is closed over here on the top you can also filter and edit pipelines which is 
uh, you can add edit one of these or even add more here you can also click on open tickets and just filter them so that you don't get to look at all the tickets that are available unassigned tickets if something is assigned then you can assign it or you can also create a new view i'm going to remove this also here if you are one of the team members in the service uh, in the customer service team then you can automatically come here and select your own uh, own name and then see which tickets are assigned to you you can also filter using create date for example you want to see tickets which are pertaining to just this week if you click here then all the tickets of this week will show uh, last week next week whatever you have you can also set up custom dates over here here you can save this view under actions you can this is currently locked in the free plan but you can add another pipeline you can also import or you can create a ticket click on create a ticket and you will be familiar with this if you have watched my uh, video on deals which is in the sales hub right over here this is very much same process so let me create a ticket for example customer complaint and ticket status I'm going to put this as new ticket description complaint on uh, bad product let's say what is the source the source can be chat, email, form or phone, wherever the complaint, customer complained. So let's say phone, the customer complained on a phone. He called you and he complained about a bad product that you have and he wants a refund or a reimbursement. So the source is phone. Ticket owner, uh, whoever you want to assign this to, you can set the priority level. If it's a really urgent request, then you can select between low, medium and high. Create date, let's assume I want to create it today. And you can associate this ticket with any company or contact. Let's say I'm going to associate this with HubSpot. Okay, there's no result. Let's say I want to click on Google. Okay. You can click on create, create and add another or cancel. If you create, click on create and add another, this window will open up again. So let me do that and show you. See this window has opened up again, this pop-up. I'm going to close this. So here you have... I'm going to click on all tickets so here we have created a ticket uh, let me just refresh the screen so it's showing up over here earlier it was not showing you can see the status is set as high the time open a minute back owner digital doorway this is a customer complaint if you click on this ticket then the ticket dashboard or that will open up this is the ticket CRM you will see over here and if you click on ticket, it'll toggle back, it'll go back to the ticketing dashboard. I'm going to go back to the ticket dashboard. This is another fam very familiar view. This is same as CRM. So here you can view all the properties. You can view property history, merge or delete. Again, the status, you can change the status from here. You don't have to go back to service and then click on tickets and go to the ticket dashboard. You can choose any one of these waiting on us for example so open two minutes and the status has been changed automatically you can create a note send an email call log an email create a task or set up a meeting schedule a meeting you will see the ticket name and whatever we have filled up while creating a ticket over here all this information in the center again you have the note you have the email for example if i were to create a note then all my colleagues will be able to see the status when I created a note this customer was angry please resolve ASAP for example I'm going to click on save note so you will see that under activity a note has been created so whatever you create in any of these it will show in the activity tab here you can also add a comment internally and you can tag somebody for example I'm going to tag digital doorway I'm going to say please take up this issue on priority basis you can also link one of these words or all of these you can also insert an image knowledge article snippet you can also use bold italic and more of these features which are available so you will see the comment also showing up you can pin this on the top if I click on pin then it's pinned you can also view the history or delete it and you can also associate with couple of records so again on the 
email you can log an email or you can create an email calls make a phone call or log a call task task is when you assign it to someone and you can enter the task name notes and you can set up these meetings you can also create a meetings now further to the right you will see company that you have associated while creating a ticket record you can also associate it with a contact you can also associate or add a deal attachment conversations so this is pretty straightforward I'm going to go now to conversations and click on inbox and I'm going to show how you can create a ticket or add a ticket to an existing chat now this is a chat and for example I have this contact record and on the right you will see the name and here down you will see create a ticket so here a window opens up on the right and I can create a ticket name so let's say I'm writing over here bad review ticket status ticket description source again is one of the four that I showed you earlier let's say chat priority level let's say medium create date and I'm gonna click on create so here I have you can see bad review which is showing over here you can also click on more and send the email transcript you can move to trash block sender or mark as spam so the ticket record has been updated over here that I've created I can minimize this if I were to go back and check whether this has been successfully added to the tickets tab or not I can review it over here so you can see waiting on us this is what I created so basically a ticket system enables your customers to reach out with their issues like inbox they can send via chat and for you to capture manage and resolve tickets in a timely and efficient manner you can also set up different pipelines for your tickets so you can separate internal and external tickets or even sort them out across different teams or departments which is what I showed you over here you can assign it to any particular team member additionally each ticket includes uh, a record of the issue and support team members so that you can leave notes create tasks and call or email which is what I showed you earlier when I was when I created a ticket so this was a brief description or an overview of what the service tool entails and I would like to say that the service hub enables you to increase alignment across the entirety of your company by leveraging the service hub tools so in my next video I'm going to take a paid portal and I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how you can create uh, feedback and service. So I hope you like this video and thank you everyone.